Like most gospel artists whose love for music was ignited from church at an early age, Nonsigile Loshomela is no different. She started as a poetry writer before she realized her talent and dream of becoming a jazz gospel music star. Nonsigile has been making positive strides in making a name for herself in the industry after the release of her debut album Ndinga in 2012. Well, some of her notable performances include sharing stages with world stars at some of the international events such as the Sheikh uh, Seychelles Creole International Arts Festival, the Tabumbegi Foundation Africa Day Gala Dinner, and the Pan African Genesis Anti Xenophobia event, just to mention a few. Now, Nunsigelelo is in studio with us this morning to discuss her career and uh, new music. A very good morning to you, Nsigi. Thank you good so much morning. for joining us. I'm blessed to be here. Thank you so uh, it's much. It's an absolute pleasure having you. Now, yes. you, uh, you started writing poetry before you ventured into music. Take us through that journey and just who Nunsigelelo Shomela is. Nunsigelelo Shomela is a lady from Utanik, a, a town in the Eastern Cape. Um, who grew up in a family of, of, of uh, Christ, a Christian home. And from there, I, I got to know God for myself because we grew up in a home and we don't really get to be personal with God. Yeah. And that's where I started um, writing and expressing my love to Him. So that's where my poetry started. Okay. And then it ventured into music and all types of music. It was not just gospel, but African, jazz, anything that I could think of as long as it was a message for him. And speaking of that uh, genre, yes. I mean, you, you ventured into gospel jazz. Yes. And uh, people, well, some pundits argue that, uh, there isn't, uh, that that particular genre hasn't seen so much growth, yet mm. it's quite an amazing genre. Mm. Uh, what's your thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, it, it does not have a lot of following, but I think it's a very amazing... Uh, it is. Are you mm. talking about the African jazz genre? Well, African jazz and yes. gospel jazz and in gospel, particular. Yes, and and it's... I don't know why, because it's a very beautiful genre, and I love I, and the fact that I love that it's a gospel is not really a genre, but it's it's a message. Yeah. And and for me, even if if it's in jazz, it's still good. If it's in R and B, it's still it's still gospel. Okay. As long as it it's, as long as it portrays the message of the love of God. Yeah, and, and yes. portraying the message of yes. the love of God. Uh, what would you say inspire some of the songs that you perform? The love of God. It's, most of the songs are inspired by that, that he truly found me from in a place, in a small town in Utenek, mm -hmm. and I had to travel to Cape Town, and, and I'm here in Jobek. It's, it's, it's love. It's, it's showing that God can do anything at any, in any, at, any, at any specific time. So most of my songs are derived from that. From the what are some of, of the God. issues that you seek to highlight through your songs? The issues are more on, uh, through my gospel songs, it's knowing God for who He is. Um, the God of Trinity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Most times we forget the, 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 the power of Trinity. We see God mm. as just the creator, or maybe we just see Him as Jesus, the teacher. But He's all in three. Yes. The Holy Spirit as well. So my message is more on that, to know God for the power of Trinity. That He's a counselor, He's a teacher, but He is still God that creates the earth and the heavens. And I see that God has been with you all the step of the way. And uh, your defining way. moment was, of course, uh, 2010 when yes. you performed at the World Cup. Yes, that was, uh, that's what I said, that God can do anything at any specific time. At that time, I never knew that God could open such a platform for me, but nothing is impossible with God. What so. kind of platforms has that opened for you? Um, the Creole Festival in Seychelles, mm -hmm. uh, where I saw God as an international God. <laughs> 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 a God that opens doors, even international doors, for a girl who comes from a small town. That was an amazing platform for me, where I sang um, amongst many How countries. did that happen? How did they spot you? Uh, they saw me. Um, one of the ambassadors came to Tembisa where they called me to just come and do an opening act. Mm -hmm. So I was just doing a Ngosi Sikelela song, and from there they said, we have a festival next month, and we'll just make sure that you are there. We'll book everything for you. And that's how it happened. So I was there to represent South Africa and singing African music. And yeah, that's why I'm saying that God can do things at any given time. I was, uh, speaking of uh, singing African music, is that yes. what you'll be focusing on moving forward or you're still open to ideas of uh, other genres in the future? Yeah, see, for me, it's not mainly on the genre. That's what I'm saying. As long as the message is there, yes. as long as the ministry is there, it might be in African, like in this new album. So it doesn't African really matter how you sing it, as long as, as the message is there. As long as the message of God is portrayed, is, is gone out, is saving lives, is changing people's healing. 
through African music can be house. In this album, I have contemporary music. I have your um, American gospel. I have your African. As long as the message is there, that's, yeah. that's all that drives me. And that makes me a musician for God, not just a musician for a certain genre. You know, so just listening to you, I get the sense that uh, uh, preaching the word yes. is, is your mandate. You know, yes. some of the gospel artists may differ on that, saying that, uh, I, I mean, okay. they're commercializing mm. their music mm. simply because God has given them their voice and then mm. they're using it for their livelihoods. Mm. What's your thought on commercializing of gospel? Yeah, for me, that's why I'm, I'm emphasizing on the ministry because music is ministry. We are, we are, we are standing to, to free people. It's like we are in a war. In the book of Jehoshaphat, it says, um, Jehoshaphat um, put a praise and worship team in front of an army. So mm -hmm. that's what we are symbolizing in the book of Kings. That's what we are symbolizing, um, delivering people through worship. It's not just, it's not just commercial. Okay. We are not doing it to perform, but we are doing it to change lives. To, to, for one person to say, I was, in, I was depressed, but through the message, that Christ loves me, that Christ can save me, sure. then I stopped and then I accepted Christ. So that's, what, that's my mandate. It's not only about performing, it's not only about my voice, because truly the voice comes from Him. Right. He says He multiplies the talents, so it comes from Him, that I, therefore I should do as He instructs me. So it's, on, it's a mission. All right. It's a mission. And Sigi, so great yes. listening to you and chatting Thank to you. you so we appreciate much. your time. Pleasure. Thank you so much. A big thank you to Nansugira Lutomela, a singer, songwriter and poet, just talking about her journey in the industry as a gospel jazz musician. We'll have more in a moment.